Today, the topic of discussion is in tree data structures. We'll understand AVL tree. AVL tree is one of the important and very confusing topic. And I'm going you to give you the assurance that this is going to be the easiest topic ever in your life of tree data structure. Let's start with AVL tree. So if I talk about AVL tree, then first we have to understand binary search tree. And we have already discussed many videos on binary search tree. So what is binary search tree? Binary search tree is a tree where every node every node any node is greater than its left child and smaller than its right child that is if i talk 15 then here you have less than 15 suppose 12 and here you have uh, 21 and if i talk this node then left child of this should be less than should be less than should be less than 12 or it could be uh, say 6 and this should be greater than 12 so this could be 20 or uh, 25 is it possible is it possible can we write 25 over here uh, because 25 is greater than 12 no because every every because if we consider 15 then every left of 15 should be smaller smaller than 15 so anything can come which is greater than 12 but should be less than what less than 15 so here 14 can come fine okay so in a similar fashion if you want uh, this, then it can be uh, 17, uh, which is greater than 15, but less than 21, and it can have 25. Fine. So this is binary search tree. And if I show you what is binary search tree, you have a binary search tree, something like this. You can see that here 8, 8, every element which is on left of 8 is less than 8, and every element which is in right of 8 is greater than 8. Then you consider 3. Every element left of 3 is less than 3 and right of 3 is greater than 3 but less than 8 fine so this is what bst is all about so now your question is why we are studying bst this bst you know very well you know everything in bst so avl tree is also a binary search tree avl tree is a, also a binary search tree then what is the problem with binary search tree why we are studying avl tree so if i talk about complexity of uh, binary search tree it is log 2n it is log 2n log 2n binary search tree complexity is log 2n means if there are n number of elements then your complexity is log 2n suppose you have uh, 32 elements suppose you have 32 elements and you want to search an element using binary search tree so what you will do you will put 32 over here then you can put 32 you can write 2 to the power 5 then you can write 5 log 2 2 log 2 2 is 1 so finally you have 5 that is within 5 in order to search 32 element uh, in five comparison you can say that either the element is there or not but but now the condition changes see this when what if the input to the binary search tree comes in sorted order what if you are inserting an element in a binary search tree which is coming in a sorted order suppose you are inserting 5 10 15 20 30 and suppose 40 you have to make bst of this when you have to make bst of this then what will be like this it's 5 then come 10 10 is greater than 5 10 will come here 15 15 is greater than 10 15 will come here 20 20 is greater than 5 greater than 10 greater than 50 20 will come here then you have 30 30 is greater than this greater than this greater than this greater than this then 30 will come here and then finally 40 will come finally so this is bst yes this is bst but suppose you have to search 30 what will happen if you want to search 30 you will come here you will compare 30 with 5 30 is greater you will come here you will compare 30 with 10 30 is greater you will come here you will compare 30 with 15 you will come here you will compare 30 with 20 you will come here and then you will come here what you are doing you are comparing every element you are comparing every element and when you compare every element when you see every element that is linear search that is not binary search that is linear search and the complexity of linear search is order of n so what is the biggest problem if element is coming in a sorted order then complexity of binary search tree becomes high become very high it become of order of n from from log to n it has become order of n when when elements are coming in a order order either in ascending order or in descending order if i show you the figure you see the figure 
so this is called left skewed you have 50 then 40 then 30 then 20 and then 10 this is left skewed tree and this is right skewed tree so if they, they both are bst they both are bst both the tree are bst but their complexity is now order of n why because if you need to search an element you have to search every element fine you have to check every element so what happens when in bst you are inserting an element in ascending or descending order the complexity of complexity of tree grows so in order to solve this problem three individuals three individuals avl a stand for Adelson, V is for Velsky and 3 Landis and L for Landis. They are inventors. They were invent inventors of avial tree. They saw the problem of BST. They said, oh, it's the biggest problem. It's creating a complexity. So now we are making BST as avial tree. So they gave BST a new name that is avial tree. So avial tree is height balance tree. So avial tree is height balance that if the height is growing more, then you have to balance it. Height balanced binary search tree. So if somebody is asking what is avial tree avial tree is a binary search tree which is height balance fine avial tree checks the height of left sub tree and right sub tree so avial tree check the height of left tree right tree and assure that and make sure that difference is either one zero and minus one and it, sh it checks that that difference of left tree and right should be either one zero or minus one it checks that difference should be either one zero or minus one what is that i will just explain you the difference between that this difference this difference is called balance factor so what is balance factor uh, height of left subtree minus height of right subtree is called balance factor and this balance factor should be either zero it should be either minus one or it should be one if tree every node if every node of a tree if every node of bst has balance factor either zero one or minus one then that tree is called avial tree so the new definition if every node of binary search tree has balance factor what is balance factor height of left subtree minus height of right subtree is either 0 1 or minus 1 then that tree is known as avial tree let's see how balance factor is calculated okay now you have a binary search tree you can see that every element is smaller than 100 every element is greater than 100 smaller greater you can see you can compare i'll not explain you what is binary search tree now how balance factor is calculated suppose you need to calculate the balance factor of 100 so consider this as zeroth zeroth level so 0 1 2 3 why not 0 1 2 means that from left maximum where you can go you can go here maximum leaf where you can go so this is the maximum this one this one is one leaf from 100 this one is another leaf from 100 which is the maximum this one this one is the maximum leaf what is the height 0 1 2 3 so height is 3 so left height is 3 and from maximum right where you can go either you go 2 is there either you go like this 2 is there so 3 minus 2 the balance factor is 1 fine if you didn't understand right now let's see 50 balance factor what is what is left Left, what is left subtree left you can go only one so one right you can go either this two or you can go either this two so one minus two is minus one fine okay then the balance factor of 50 is minus one balance factor of this is zero why left is there is no node in left there is no node in right so always always remember the balance factor of leaf node is zero and if if tree is balanced having one element here having one element here so one minus one will be zero 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 and then one minus one zero so this is how you calculate the balance factor now if you see the balance factor of every node now if you see the balance factor of every node the balance factor of every node is either zero one or minus one so this tree is avial tree this tree is it's written very clearly over here this tree is avial tree now suppose i'm giving you an example 15 15 20 uh, 20 cannot come here uh, uh, 14 13 and then 12 and suppose uh, uh, here you have 21 is this tree is a uh, avial tree now calculate the balance factor 0 1 2 3 you have 3 and calculate 1 1 3 minus 1 2 so the balance factor is 2 now calculate this 0 1 2 2 here you have 0 so 2 minus 0 you have 2 here you have uh, 
plus 1 here you have 0 and here you have 0 so the balance factor of this tree the balance factor of many node two nodes are other than 1 minus 1 and 0 because of this this tree is not a real tree fine so hope you understood what is a real tree and what is not a real tree so in this chapter we have discussed what is a real tree why we are creating a real tree what is balance factor how balance factor is created okay so this is all about we have discussed